Let's run a quick denoise using the Denoise AI Accelerated Denoiser for Blender. The first thing we need in order to run a quick denoise is an image loaded into our UV image editor. To get this image, I'm actually just going to render out a frame from an animation I made earlier this year. It shouldn't take too terribly long. The render just finished, so to run a quick denoise pass on this render, all we need to do is come down to the bottom of our UV image editor and click the quick denoise button. Clicking this button will initialize the denoiser, and within a few seconds we get a denoised result. If we want to toggle back to the original render result, we can either change it down here, where we choose render results from the images here, but that can take a while, so you can do it quicker just by clicking this little eyeball. That will automatically take you back to the denoise source image. And if we want to view the denoise final image as well, we can click that eye once again and it gets loaded back into our UV image editor. Additionally, we can quick denoise any image that we load into the UV image editor. Let's do a quick example. I'm going to close out of the denoise export down here, and I'm going to click open to open an image. And from my desktop, I'll select this one render that I did earlier. I'll click open image, and you can see that this is the final render result, but it is full of noise. So we'll run a quick denoise on it, and within a few seconds, we get the final denoised result. And of course, just like last time, we can also toggle back and forth between the denoised and the undenoised result with the click of a button.